Hi, welcome to Yoga TX. I'm Nicole. Thank you for joining me. Today we have a joyful, blissful, feel good, full body flow. So it's all the good stuff. And um, anything is allowed really. It's about having fun on your mat. It's about um, enjoy being in your body, enjoy working with your body, flowing with your body. Throughout the flow, stay connected to your breath. Allow your, um, your breath to be the guide throughout our different postures and keep your foundation strong. And you will notice the um, stronger, the more stable you keep your foundation, the more freedom, freedom, the more freedom you will have to flow and to have fun. So when you're ready, come to your mat. And today we start in a kneeling position at the end of the mat. So bring your um, feet together, bring the knees together. Sit back onto your heels, bring your hands, um, palms facing down onto your thighs. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Close your eyes and move your heart and your skull over your pelvis. With your inhale, extend the crown of your head towards the sky. And with your exhale, soften and relax the shoulders. Inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, soften and relax the shoulders. Just take a few more circles of breath. Arriving in your body. Arriving on your mat. Arriving in this present moment. Feel free to set an intention for your practice. Just think about what brought you to your mat today. Gently open up your eyes. Take an inhale, find length in your spine. Expand the crown towards the sky. With your exhale, lower your chin down to your chest, lengthening the back of your neck. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Start to roll your head over to the right. Right ear meets right shoulder, lengthening the left side of your neck. Roll your head over to the left. Left ear meets left shoulder, lengthening the right side of your neck. Two more rounds. Take your time, roll your head over to the right. And slowly over to the left. Come back to center, chin to chest, lengthening the back of your neck. Take an inhale, lift your gaze up. Expand the crown of your head towards the sky. With your exhale, release the torso down towards your thighs. Bring the arms parallel to your legs and try to connect the forehead to the floor. Come into child's pose, balasana. Take two circles of breath. Relax your arms down to the floor. With your next inhale, plant the right hand onto the floor. Extend the left leg out long. Put the left foot flat onto the floor. Extend the left arm out long over your head. Move the hips forward. Gentle bend in your back. Opening your chest, opening your heart. With your next exhale, release, come back into child's pose. We switch sides. With your next inhale, plant the left hand onto the floor. Extend the right leg out long. Sweep the right arm over to the left. Find a gentle bend in your back. Open your chest. 
Exhale, release back into child's pose. With your next inhale, rise up with the torso. Sweep the arms up over your head. Expand the fingertips towards the sky. With your next exhale, cactus the arms, press the shoulder blades together. Open up your chest, gently lift the gaze. Bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. With your next inhale, extend the arms out long, press the shoulder blades together. Open up your chest, gently lift the gaze. Press the bottom of your palms together. Take one more inhale, find length in your spine. With your exhale, start to lower the torso down towards the thighs. Keep your interlace and bring the arms up towards the sky. Find your child's pose. You're stretching your shoulders at the same time. Press the bottom of your palms together. Keep your hips on your heels. One more cycle of breath. With your next inhale, rise up with the torso. Keep the interlace, press the shoulder blades together. Open your chest, gently lift the gaze. Release, bring your hands in front of you, claw your paws. Tack the toes, push through the, leg, <laughs> push through the hands, lengthen the legs. Move your hips up into downward facing dog. Give it a few steps in your down dog. Feel free to bring some movement into your hips. Find stillness in your downward facing dog. Gently bend the knees, tailbone points up towards the sky. Rotate the upper arms outward. Push through the hands, feel that lengthening in your spine. With each exhale, releasing the heels and the sternum closer to the mat. Shake your head, say yes, no to release any tension you might be holding in your neck. Bring your feet a little bit closer together in your downward facing dog. With your next inhale, rise up onto the tiptoes from the bottom of your spine. Roll forward into high plank. With your exhale, bend into the knees, move the hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Two more rounds. Inhale, rise up onto the tiptoes, roll forward. Exhale, bend into the knees and move the hips up. And release back into downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, rise and roll forward. With your exhale, move the hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Releasing the heels and the sternum towards the mat. Push through the hands. Feel that lengthening in your spine. With your next inhale, rise up onto the tiptoes. With your exhale, bend into the knees, gaze forward. Start walking to the top of the mat. Come to standing forward fold. Keep your feet hip width apart. All four corners of your feet are grounded into the floor. Gently bend the knees if that's more accessible for you. Do your best to hinge from the hips. Grab opposite elbows and start rocking right to left. Release the hands down to the floor, bend into the knees, press the feet into the floor, root to rise into high mountain pose. Bring the arms up over your head. Exhale, bring the hands down to your heart. We keep moving. Inhale, sweep the arms up, high mountain pose. With your exhale, cactus the arms, press the shoulder blades together, open up your chest. Inhale, rise, high mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive forward, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step both feet back, come into high plank pose. Tack the tailbone, draw the lower belly towards the spine. Push the floor away with your hands. Keep your gaze in between your hands. Two more cycles of breath, options. Knees, chest, chin, or full chaturanga down to the floor. Untack the toes. Inhale, push the floor away with your hands. Rise up with the torso, upward facing dog. Open your chest, drop the shoulders away from the ears. With your exhale, push the floor away with your hands. Lift the hips up. 
Release into downward facing dog. Give it a couple of steps in your down dog. Feel free to move these hips right to left if this feels good to you. Find stillness in your downward facing dog. Gently bend the knees, tailbone points up towards the sky. Keep your ears in alignment with your upper arms. With your next inhale, lift up your right leg, three-legged dog. Keep your hips squared, keep your shoulders squared. With your exhale, step the right foot forward in between your hands, pivot the back foot to a 90 degree ankle, press your feet into the floor, root to rise, warrior two on your right. Take a moment to adjust your stand, bend into your right knee, your right knee is stacked on top of your right ankle, tuck the tailbone, draw the lower belly towards the spine, extend the arms out long parallel to the floor, activate your arms and press your feet into the floor. Keep in mind that strong foundation. Start to reach forward with the right hand and back with the left. Forward, back, forward, Next time you come back, come into reverse warrior, lengthening the right side of your body. Two more cycles of breath. Stay for the exhale. With your next inhale, bring the right elbow on top of your right knee. Extend the left arm out long over your head, extended side ankle on your left. Press your feet into the floor. Be strong in your foundation, open your chest, inhale, rise back to warrior two, pop the left heel, transition into high crescent lunge, square the hips, right hip is pulling back, left hip is pulling forward, squeeze the thighs towards the midline, find length through the sides of the body, with your next exhale, cactus the arms, press the shoulder blades together, open up your chest, inhale, rise, High crescent lunge, exhale, release, hands down, frame your right foot, step the right leg back and release the heels and the sternum towards the mat, downward facing dog. Push through the hands, make sure you don't have any weight on your wrists. With your next inhale, move your shoulders over your wrists, come back into high plank pose, tuck the tailbone, draw the lower belly towards the spine, push the floor away with your hands. Option, knees, chest, chin, or give me a full chaturanga, down to the floor, untuck the toes, inhale, upward facing dog, press the hands into the floor, lift your thighs off the floor, and then get ready to Move your hips up and release into downward facing dog. Two cycles of breath and then we take it to the other side. With your next inhale, lift up your left leg, three-legged dog. With your exhale, step the left foot forward in between your hands. Pivot the back foot to 90 degree ankle. Root to rise, cartwheel the arms up, warrior two on your left. Press your feet into the floor, sink low with your hips. The lower you sink with your hips, the more you will feel the activation in your left thigh. Start to reach forward with the left hand, back with the right. Forward and back. One more time, forward. When you come back, come into reverse warrior this time, lengthening the left side of your body. Be strong in your foundation, press the feet into the floor allowing you to flow into extended side ankle on the left. Bring the left elbow on top of your left knee, right arm extend out long over your head and lift the gaze up towards the sky. You look up underneath your right arm. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, rise back up into warrior two. With your exhale, sink a little bit lower with your hips. Get ready to transition into high crescent lunge on the left. Square the hips, squeeze the thighs towards the midline, draw the lower belly towards the spine, open your chest, connect with your breath. Take an inhale, find length through the sides of your body. With your exhale, cactus the arms, press the shoulder blades together, open up your chest. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge. Exhale, release the hands down, frame your left foot and step the left leg back, release into 
downward facing dog. Walk out your dog, give it a couple of steps, bring some movement into your hips if you wish. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. We come back to our spinal rolls. With your next inhale, rise up onto the tiptoes, roll forward. Exhale, move the hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Two more times, try and play and have fun. Inhale, rise, roll forward. Exhale, roll back. One more time. Inhale, rise. And roll back with your exhale. Releasing the heels and the sternum to your mat. Shake your head, say yes, no. To release any tension you might still be holding in your neck. Push through the hands, make sure you don't have any weight on your wrists. With your next exhale, lower the knees down to the floor, untuck the toes, bring the big toes together, open up the knees, sit back onto your heels, extend the arms out long, fingertips reaching to the top of the mat, come into wide-legged child's pose, keep your hands in alignment with your shoulders, try to connect the forehead to the floor. With your inhale, breathe into the back of your body. And with your exhale, release the torso closer to the floor. We take three more cycles of breath. Feel free to bring some movement into your hips by gently moving them right to left or remain still. Last cycle of breath. With your next inhale, press the hands into the floor, lift up your gaze. Come up into tabletop to your all fours. Sweep the lower legs over to the right. Sit back onto your mat. Scoop forward a little bit, closer to center. Plant your feet, the soles of your feet onto the floor. Bring your hands onto the knees. Take an inhale, find length in your spine. Open your chest. With your exhale, start to lower the torso down towards the floor, each vertebra at a time. Take your time rolling down. Release the head and the shoulders to the floor. Bring the left heel a little bit closer to your um, sits bones and bring the right ankle on top of your left knee. Flex your right foot. We set up for bridge pose, so maybe give that left heel, bring it a little bit closer into the sits bones. Press the left foot into the floor. Press your arms, your palms into the floor. With your next inhale, lift your hips up into bridge pose. Bridge pose, variation with a figure four. Activate your left thigh, activate your left glute. Let's move these hips up towards the sky as high as you can. One more cycle of breath. With your next exhale, slowly release the hips down to the floor, well done, we switch sides. Bring the right sole down to the floor, move the right foot, your right heel close to your sits bones. Bring the left ankle on top of your right knee, build your figure four, flex your left foot. Press the right foot into the floor, press your arms, your palms into the floor. When you're ready, root to rise. Find your strong foundation, move your hips up towards the sky. Figure four, bridge pose. Activate your right thigh, activate your right glute. Press your feet down, press the arms down. One more cycle of breath, almost there. With your next exhale, start to slowly release the hips down to the floor. 
hug both of your knees into the chest, gently rock right to left. Really bring your knees together and hack your knees in like a little ball. Release the head back to the floor. Extend the arms out long into a T-shaped pose. Palms are facing up towards the sky. With your next exhale, lower the knees over to the right. Find a twist. Twist from the belly button upwards. Relax your shoulders. Relax your abdominals. Inhale, come back to center. With your next exhale, lower the knees over to the left. Relax the shoulders. Relax your abdominals. Allow your heart rate to slow down. Inhale, come back to center. Gently rock right to left. Massaging your lower back. Start to rock forwards and backwards a couple of times. And slowly come up into, maybe three times, an easy cross leg position to the middle of your mat. Root the sits bones into the floor. Bring your hands onto the knees, palms facing down. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Close your eyes and move your heart and your skull over your pelvis. Connect with your breath. With your inhale, expand the crown of your head towards the sky. And with your exhale, soften and relax the shoulders. Inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, soften and relax the shoulders. Take a few more cycles of breath. Bring your hands onto your heart. With each inhale, breathe in positive, vibrant energy into your body. Allowing this energy to fill your body. And set yourself up for your day ahead. Maybe give it a little bit of a smile. Bring your hands together in front of the heart into the Anjali Mudra, allowing this positive, vibrant energy to guide you through the day, allowing you to keep an open mind and keep an open, keep an open mind and keep an open heart. Drop your chin down to your chest, bow to your heart and your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Very much appreciate your time and your space. I'm sending you lots of love and light from Scotland. This was Yoga TX. I'm Nicole. Feel free to leave me a comment below. It would be great to hear from you. If you would like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, let your shadow shine. Take care, have a nice day, bye bye.